Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a very exciting player review for you all. It is on none other than Edward from Celtic. Now this guy caught my eye being a French striker, being 4 star, 4 star, 6 foot 2. Look to be a really, really meta striker in this game. Someone that you could legitimately use from the rest of the world team in the season. And yeah, I've used him. He is brilliant guys. Really, really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one live game today and then we're going to have the post-match highlights that we did manage to get with this card from earlier today. Well, the time you're watching this probably will have been yesterday. But it's a very exciting review. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more 5020 content. Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's just get into this review because he looks insane. So, 92 rated Edward. 94 pace, 94 shooting, 84 passing, 92 dribbling. 59 defending, 91 physical. As I say, he's six foot two with high medium work rates, four star, four star, perfect for FIFA 20. His in-game stats, 97 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 95 attack positioning, 96 finishing, 96 shot power, 86 long shots. That's a lie, it's so much better. 86 volleys, 94 penalties, 93 vision, 71 crossing, 75 free kick accuracy, 93 short pass with only 66 long pass, kind of disappointing, but honestly, it doesn't feel like that in game. 95 curve, superb. 90 agility, 90 balance. For a guy who's what, 6 foot 2, superb. Uh, 84 reactions, 92 ball control, 94 dribbling, 90 composure. 95 heading accuracy. You don't score headers in FIFA 20, but that's just really, really nice. He has 84 jumping with 91 stamina, 96 strength, and 80 aggression. Some phenomenal stats in there. Traits wise, this is where it gets good. Finesse shot trait is really, really nice to have with the curve. I was looking at that Davies, uh, was it David, Jonathan David, I think it is, uh, the Canadian striker, and the, he had a few areas which he missed out on. He obviously has five star weak foot, but he does, doesn't have the four star skill moves. He doesn't have good curve either, I think it's in the 50s. Flair trait for Edward too, and you'll see in some of the highlights, some ridiculous touches from this card. What we're going to do though, is we're going to play him in a 4-2-3-1, that's where I've been playing him this afternoon. 4-2-3-1, as a striker we tell him to get in behind, and guys, you're in for a treat. Hopefully, in this live gameplay, I can show you how good this card is, but if not, I'll just show you in the highlights. Let's get into it. The game for the live gameplay. Mertens, Jonathan, Paulinho, that's a fantastic red. Uh, Fred though, this guy needed to do the objectives one. Here we go then, you can see Edward in game. And the one thing that surprised me with this card is he is super quick around the pitch, really, really for his body type. Uh, his body type isn't bad at all, actually, in this game. I think with cards like Lautura Martinez, you really notice their body type, as we're going to concede straight from the kickoff. Yep, thought we'd done enough with Stegen, but um, bad start. We will skip back into it, though. I have the faith. That's just kickoff cheese. Here we go. Edward. Oh, bit of lag. His touch, superb. And his movement, guys, really, really nice. Into Messi. Did just bring Messi on? What a block that is by Ramos. What a block. Come on. Alright, 2 0 down in this one. Bloody hell. Edward. Lovely pass to Hazard. Cheesy tackle. Edward to Messi. Drag back. Edward, nice. You get the ball through to Messi. That's a beautiful pass, but the touch from Leo. Not something you usually associate with him. Through to Messi. Across to Edward. He's got really good heading. Is crossing just irrelevant, FIFA 20? I think it is. Edward, oh my days. Nearly the range of Celtic link up. Edward. Nice. Across to Hazard. There we go. Look at his fake shot there. That is superb. Back in the game now. Come on. Go on, Edward. Look at the dribbling for a guy six foot two. Look at the pace. Near post, maybe. Again. Edward. Let's go. Got a really, really nice run. I'm going to find him. Drag back. Into Vea. Good goal. Nice assist from Edward. He's got two good assists now. Vea telling him to calm down. What a good start. Edward, nice. Go on, Edward. Play over the top. Left four isn't really there. What is he running to the keeper for? Could have had that if he didn't run to the keeper. 
Wow, 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 wow. This game, honestly, what is going on? Edward, come on. He's through. Can Messi find the pass? Like an actual question, Edward. First time he hasn't finished one of them chances. Is he a threat from corners? Is anyone a threat from corners in FIFA 20? Nice. Edward, come on. Find the pass to Nanny. What a beautiful pass. Nanny. Mm. Nice. Look at the run. Drag back into Vea. What a pass. Edward, nice. Back to Vea. To Atal. Edward, left foot. Oh, dear. Yeah, four star week for. Let's go. Let's go, Edward. Look at the pace on the way. Sometimes his left stick dribble is a bit stiff. That's one thing I would say about the card. You want to keep him sort of near your opponent's goal. You don't really want to be doing too much dribbling with him. Edward, nice. Touch. No, what is that gameplay? Edward, Edward, left foot. That's so stupid for me. I should have took more time, but the way this game's going, I felt like I needed to look at look at that though. He's fighting for the badge. That's one thing you got. You have to say about this card. He fights. Edward, oh, he fights so hard. Look at Ramos, man, giving them the ball back. I mean. That is just terrible gameplay all around, but Edward had a quiet game in this live game, guys. Honestly, a very, very quiet game. I thought he played well, um, but quiet game for his standards. He still was the best player of the team. Better than 99 Messi, better than team of season Natal. Um, and yeah, go two assists. was really, really good. Shame we couldn't win the match, just everything went against us. But what we'll do is we'll get into the post-match highlights that I did get with this card earlier. I'll tell you guys, he's a very, very good card. Now let's get into it. Okay then guys, here we go into the highlights that we did manage to get with Edward. And now for me this is an interesting one because this card, I think on the Xbox currently, it is a hundred sorry, two hundred and sixty thousand coins. On the Xbox he is a hundred and sixty thousand coins. I'm surprised with that price difference to be honest. Obviously normally it's the other way around. Xbox lower than the PS4. But I'm surprised that he is this cheap because of how good he actually did play for me. Five games, 10 goals, three assists is a fantastic record in my opinion. And you can see in the background, he's just scoring goal after goal. Different types of goals. You've got, you've got the uh, near post strikes. You've got the finesse strikes. You've got poacher goals. You can see the nice dribbling from the card. I think you saw that in the live game. I mean, look at that strength. Look at the finesse on the strike as well. The way he's holding off the players and then the way I, I, I just have the trust that I can score the finesse shot with him. I think the finesse shot trait is a huge pro with this card. I think having the finesse shot trait in FIFA 20, one of the most important uh, traits I do believe that you can have, or especially on a guy who is six foot two, you probably wouldn't expect him to have the finesse shot trait, but look at that. That is an insane strike, insane power, and one of the biggest pros is how clinical he is. He's so clinical in game, he will, if he misses a chance, you'll be very, very surprised. And that comes down to the finishing and the shot power. You can see here we're in a tough game in his first game for me, he does miss, the, does miss the penalty, but don't worry guys, he makes up for it in the way he played, the pass from Edward there, into, um, I think that was Carlos Vea, look at that goal, the pass from Carlos Vea, the touch from Edward, I'll just let you admire that, as we keep talking about his pros, I'd say the pace, 97 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, is a phenomenal pro to have, 4 star, 4 star, 4 star, 4 star is a phenomenal pro as well. I think the skill moves are really, really good. He does the skill moves quite nicely, but the 4 star weak foot, I would potentially put that as a, a con just because of how important 5 star weak foot is. I think his passing on the left foot is fine. The touches on the left foot are fine. Just the shooting, getting the same power that you see on the shots in the background, you won't really get that on the left foot. And I think if you get the chance on the left foot, I'd always try and put it on his right just to make sure that you will score. Passing, insane on this card. I know the long passing is only 66, but the short passing, 93. He's able to do the double, um, the lofted passes, the lofted through balls really, really nicely to your striking partner, to your camp, to your wingers. I think as a build-up striker, he's fantastic in that movement. I really enjoyed his movement in this game. I felt like he was always going to be in the right spot at the right time. 
And the agility and the balance, I think, to be honest, guys, you're not going to be, for example, with Dries Mertens. Dries Mertens was so good at the little dribbles. And I think this is what will separate this card from a Dries Mertens, which is a card that you can do really, really well with in the weekend league. Not that you can't do well with this card, but it's going to be harder. But look at that finish. That's insane. Some of the nicest goals I've scored all year with scored with this Edward. Um, I think the difference between this card, though, and the Mertens, you will be able to maybe, I think maybe position the card as well, manipulate the card as well to create the chances. Really, really nice play there though. Um, I don't think you'll be able to do that so well, but for me, I would still give the card a really, really high rating. Downsides, I think, as I say, him being 6'2 does make it a bit hard to uh, dribble with. I think that the weak foot could be improved on the weak foot. Didn't really seem the best for the shooting. Um, and yeah, to be honest, guys, there aren't many um, weaknesses for me. I think long passing as well could be one that you would like to see improved. I think I noticed it more when I actually noticed it after the stats. Uh, so after seeing it in the stats, I noticed it a bit more in the live gameplay as opposed to the games before. Looking um, completely at the stats, to be honest, finesse strikes, perfect. Really, really did enjoy him. I think you guys will enjoy him too. For the price-wise, especially if you're on PS4, go ahead and pick him up. See if you can fit him in a team because I think it'll be a very fun card to have. A very surprising card as well. I think you will enjoy him. I'm going to give him a 9.3. The reason he doesn't get higher based on the goals and assists that he managed to get for me in the time is I just think that the difference between this card and like an Alejandro Gomez, a, um, as I say, Merton, some of the recent ones that come to mind, is that they will perform so well against some of the best players in FIFA um, just because they have that extra um, bit about them which makes them more meta. If this game wasn't all about the meta, Edward would be absolutely perfect. It has a number of features which also do fit the meta. I think you guys will enjoy them. If you enjoyed this video, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. I'll see you all later for another FIFA video. Peace.